Let's talk about the role for the army, right? Sakub Patrol Valsartan, I guess, is the only one just now, uh, in uh, heart failure with reduced ejection fraction patients. Who are the right candidates for this? Is it everybody, or is it a, a select subgroup of folks that you'd start? Well, let's, let's start with it, what the guidelines tell us to do. Okay. So the update to the guidelines that came out in 2016 say that patients who are currently tolerating, who, who are symptomatic, so functional class two and three, heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, who are tolerating an ACE inhibitor or an ARB, should be switched. Good. Okay, I want to make that very clear. Yes. This is a big, big recommendation. Yes. Tolerating should be switched. Correct. That's on the basis of really good results on the study we just talked about. Exactly, a very large study, meaning patients who are symptomatic, who are on an ACE inhibitor or an ARB, who remain symptomatic should be switched. Okay, who should not be switched? Let's turn it upside down. <laughs> so one of the things that was um, observed in the trial was about a 10%, correct me if I'm wrong, it's maybe 11%, symptomatic hypotension with uh, patients who were taking Sucupatrol Valsartan versus Enalapril. So there is a more pronounced blood pressure lowering effect with Sucupatrol Valsartan. So patients whose blood pressure is already on the lowish side who may be uh, symptomatic in terms of orthostasis are not good candidates for switching. They could fall over. <laughs> I mean, you, you don't want to take somebody who's just about on the edge of acceptable blood pressure and make that lower. Well, it, it, it's going to be a little more difficult in those patients. Okay. And it, it doesn't mean that you may not want to try in some, uh, but I think you have to be careful about it. Okay. Th yeah, this drug is a potent blood pressure lowering drug. Yeah, and in, in addition to what um, Orly had mentioned, um, you know, clearly if you have a contraindication, so if you are currently on an ACE inhibitor, clearly there needs to be a 36-hour washout period before initiating Entresto. Um, you know, other contraindications, if you have angioedema, and uh, you had angioedema on an ACE inhibitor, and for some strange reason, they switch you over to an ARB, and you're fine. I don't care if it's Valsartan. It's still contraindicated, and those patients should not be started on Entresto. 